Hi, welcome. Hello, do come on in. It's Tuesday, which means it's my lifetime. What is that buzzing behind me? It's like the fluff or a fly. <laughs> How are we today? Finally, the rain has hit the UK. So after a long spell of heat, I feel like I'm doing a broadcast or weather forecast. Anyway, there we go. I hope you're keeping well wherever you are. And um, my computer's going on randomly as well. And it's very bright. The lights are a bit bright tonight. Anyway, let's get you turned around. Oh, I'm locking my light now. There we go. Right. Happier Than Happy is the name of the set. I mean, you'd think that maybe they'd come up with a different name. But uh, that's what they've come up with, Happier Than Happy. And I'm borrowing this stamp set off the lovely Cheeky Monkey Crafts. And um, I'm going to use her stamp set. But I'd like to stamp on some very vanilla. Because I think the colours I've chosen suits. Suits the very vanilla more than white. This is just a scrap piece of paper I was going to test on and then I never did. So we're just going to stamp on some very vanilla. Um, I've chosen some colours that are out on my desk um, from this afternoon's Facebook Live and I've decided to keep them out on my desk. Now they look rather familiar and I don't know if Stampin' Up! have used these colours before. So I've got Old Olive, Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Crumb Cake, Pool Party and Crush Curry. Like I said, they look really familiar to me, but I don't know why. I whether they've used these before in maybe some designer series paper or something very similar. But anyway, I, before putting them away, I thought, oh, these colours go together nicely. And um, that works quite well sometimes. If you've just grabbed some colours out and you've got them sitting on your desk, if you just group them together, have a look, see if they go together, because sometimes you get stuck for colour inspiration. So the plan is to stamp over a sheet, aka a one sheet wonder. Um, this is stamping on the fly because I haven't practiced tonight, but that's okay because we're amongst friends. <laughs> this does come with a die set as well, which is this one, which it's called Happy Forest Dies, which we might as well look at while we've got them out. It's got a really cute tag. Look at that little stitch tag. Isn't that adorable? So you've got the wood stamp and I've noticed you've got the innard. To the wood stump. You've got dies to cut out all the animals, the um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm suffering, <coughs> the toadstools, and some leaves as well. Didn't bring a drink in with me. <coughs> okay, so let's get stumping. I turn off the fan, but as soon as I turn off the fan, it's still really muggy. There we go. Okay. Who's in the house tonight? Hello again, Valerie and Janice. Hi, Janice. Hi, Anne. Hi, Mindy. Nice glasses, Mindy. <laughs> Mindy's got the, the uh, glass emoji, glasses emoji. Right, I've, I've gone ahead and cut out some masked paper, although poor Bear, Mr. Bear, has had a um, an ear operation <laughs> and uh, he got a bit lobbed in the ear. So uh, do excuse the uh, poor Mr. Bear. If you hear any screaming, you know what it is. And I thought I'd just, you know, a good way to experiment with new stamp sets is just to create a whole page of stamping. Now, what's going to throw me is I've got characters going in different directions and I've got a thing about animals going in certain directions. So I'm going to lay those there just so I know where they're going. I want to kind of maybe do some scene building. But um, unless I split this into four, let's do that. Okay, stop press. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to score this in in half, and then maybe we can work like that. Let's make my life a tad bit easier. Who's buffering already? Ellie's buffering. Oh dear. It's not a good start. I thought with my new phone there'd be no buffering. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vicky, for putting up my information in the live chat. 
So if you can't see the live chat straight away, it should come up later. Happy Tuesday, Elizabeth. Um, I'm just switching on my other device so that I can... I can't see my score line. Still can't see my score line. <laughs> right, come on, old phone. Let's see if we can get somewhere. No, have I not scored it or something? What's the matter with this thing? Uh, score. Hey, there we go. I can see it now, and so can you. Okay. Oh, Vicky, you do such a splendid job at keeping everybody. Uh, Doing the admin side of things, thank you. Right, so we're going in with Mr. Bear. He's got a, it looks like he's waving goodbye to somebody. He's quite cute, isn't it? Oh, he's adorable. Look at him. Oh, let's try and zoom in. Now, I wonder if my no, that doesn't work. I was hoping my volume phone would zoom you in, but it doesn't. So let's get Mr. Bear, we'll get the one with the broken ear on. Now, a top tip, if you're trying to get off, um, peel off the backing of something and you're struggling and you don't have nails, don't look at my nails, um, if you bend back and pull back and kind of scrape the top, let me show you again, bend back and then scrape it back and it sort of releases the top half of paper from the bottom half. Okay, so it's done it there. Oh, I can't easily grab it. You need a nice thicker bit. So let's try again. Bend back and pull back. Can you see that? So it's separated the top from the bottom. Then if you're using masking paper from Stampin' Up, it's very sticky. So we're just going to take off a bit of... <laughs> Poor Mr. Bear, it's not his day. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> It's so sticky, it's stuck to my dry hands. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> He's not having a good day. Today is not his day. Mr. Bear just wants to go home. <laughs> Isn't that the crown? Is what the crown? Right, where were we? Let's bring on Mr. Fox. Now, oh. oh, I was going to put Mr. Fox sort of... Here, but he can't, he's got to, um, I can't hide him now because he would, let's put him slightly like that, okay, oh, hi Mr Fox, okay, um, maybe we'll stick the tree stump behind him, so he's got, okay, just hiding a little bit. I didn't stamp it that far over, did I? Okay, let's try something else. <laughs> That's torn it. I know, right? <laughs> Says Janice. Cute. I've wondered about this set for baby cards. I know, it's rather sweet, uh, Vicky. I'm just going to put some grass beneath his feet. And Mr Fox. You're just floating, Mr Fox. Just feel, let's just do some grassy patches, shall we? Because that's where we're headed now. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I feel like you've zoomed in a little too much. Okay, and we will do some little... Uh, oh, how about we can sit? He's waving goodbye. Oh, unless... I haven't put enough space there. Let's put Mr. Owl onto the tree stump. Cute, cute. And then I know we could put, to use a bit of this, we'll put the little butterfly on the top of Mr. Bear's hand. But then the butterfly's friends are also following by, like so. Okay, let's see if I can call you up on my other device and keep tracks with what's going on. So we don't actually need the masking, but hey ho, I've used it anyway. Right, poor party. We'll just look, let's use the masking. 
to our advantage. She says, not knowing where else to put this. Do two mushrooms. One's gone over Mr. Fox's leg, but never mind. Sorry, Mr. Fox. And we'll do a little, he's going to poop out a little yellow mushroom. Boop. <laughs> I feel like I need a red one now. Or a Cajun craze one. Yes, the word Cajun craze came out of my mouth. For those of you who don't know, it's just not a favourite colour of mine. But uh, there we go. Okay, these might need trimming. Okay, so the whole reason why I did um, masking was because of the trees. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Oh, here, look, here's the little mushroom. Oh, it's not a mushroom, it's an acorn. Okay, maybe we can have a little acorn lying on the floor. There we go. Right, not what Inessa intended, but there we go. There's one Mr. Bear. Right, let's see if we can bless him. See if we can rescue you, Mr. Bear. Oh, look. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> now I just had an idea. That's worrying, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, let's keep stamping. Let's keep stamping. Right. Um, how about do a set of, I'm just going to fold this a bit more so I can see where I'm going. Um, let's do, um, okay, mm. <laughs> I want to do one that's a bit more just lots of pictures. So let's do that now, and then I can think think what else I want to do. So Mr. Bear. Sorry, there's a moth in my in my room. You've got to get them while you see them, but not just any moths, they're you know the moths that you don't want around in your room. Those kind of moths. <laughs> Oh dear. Hi Judy and happy papered pra pra prairie. Welcome. Um, so I'm going to have Mr Bear with his friends in this next one, in this next episode I was going to say. Let's put Mr Fox up here. Mr. Bear and Friends. It sounds like a TV show. These rubbers need trimming. I've got a little whisker happening here. I feel like I should do a green owl. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do a green owl. Because we can. Has anybody got this set? I do like asking. It's good to kind of glean ideas. Oh, he could be sitting on Mr. Fox's back. Uh, now I've done it, haven't I? I need some scrap paper, which I had somewhere. Oh, sorry for the noise. Gonna lop off his head. Off with his head. And then we'll have his head coming down here. Sorry, Mr. Owley. Okay, can you guys see? And then we've got these, these branches that I didn't use in the first round. If in doubt, just stamp. The tree trunk looks like it's floating. I think I forgot to put some green under it. Oh, my tree trunk or your tree trunk. Mine is floating as well, actually. <laughs> uh, I think the ring for the nature set would coordinate with this set nicely. Yes, it would. Now you're talking. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Yes, that would look good idea. Thank you for that idea. Who said that? Melissa. Totes agree with you there, Melissa. Might just have to steal your idea. Now that you said it. It's a bit autumnal, isn't it? Eh? A bit autumnal for me. A bit autumnal for... I do like doing autumnal colours in autumn. I know we're not autumn yet, but this is just... Maybe one little... Something, something there. It's tickling his nose. Um, how's about... What's about some blue trees? Just because we can. This is such a fun, fun set. Very cute indeedy. Now, when you're doing prints like this, don't be too scared to overlap. Um, oh, look at that great big smudge. Look at that. I know what Ellie's going to say. Go on, Ellie, say it. <laughs> oh, I just don't know where they come from. They sort of just appear. What was I saying? Yeah, don't be scared to overlap. Your print. It always sounds like I'm saying prints, but I'm saying print rather than prints. <laughs> to catch my drift, to catch my drift. Right, I'd like the... Where are you? Mr Toadstool, please step forward. You're up. Oh, really? Really? I'm going to have to trim this. It's pressing too hard. I mean, imagine wallpaper like that. Cute. Don't really want a brown butterfly, but um, hmm. let's have a look. What else have we got? Oh, let's just do brown. Yes, Ali, it is my signature. Unfortunately, smudges they just sort of follow me wherever I go. Must be something to do with my fingers. <laughs> Oh, I can feel the sweat. Sorry, I'm getting a bit hot again. Just thought I'd share that with you all. So you're asking, yeah, now you've covered the page, how are you going to decorate this? So I would just put like a little strip, a little sentiment on there to complete that, is my thinking. Okay, I'm going to just cut these down because it makes my life so much easier. Because I wasn't planning to do it in fours like that, but I kind of got carried away and ended up doing it like that. And because I've got a nest of smudge, I'm going to sort it out, sort it out. Oh, I've cut that down already. What am I doing? I wasn't sure if I cut it down already or not. Okay, cute. Look at those. Okay. Right, let's do a couple more. Might as well cut these down while we've got them out. So I tend to cut them down a bit smaller, I was going to say shorter, smaller. So that I can, I tend to mount them onto coloured card. Might have to put my fan on you guys. I haven't got a cold bowl of water under my feet like some people have. Okay. It turned out really cute, says Judy. How about let's do one this way up. Um, does this, where's the stump that disappear to? Just seeing what the sentiments say, okay. Let's make Mr. Bear the feature. In fact, 
I could probably die cut him out, but I'm going to stick him on so we know where he's going to go. Okay, just talking you through my process. I feel like he's waving goodbye to somebody, so let's stick him over here a bit. I know it's about time I sorted out a bowl of water, I know. Well, when we had the paddling pool for all of a couple of days, <laughs> I really liked it. Uh, it made such a difference. So I'm wondering if Mr. Owl can perch up in the tree. The tree is a little bit tiny. Um, should we bring on Winged with Nature? Let's try something. Because you guys are so brilliant at your brilliant suggestions. I don't know whether to stamp off. Yeah, let's stamp off and I'm going to create a bit of a, a background for Mr. Burr. Okay. Sorry, it's very distracting with the paper around. Or we could have him a house. So he's waving goodbye to the house in the background. Hmm, there's a thought. I need some grass or something green under his feet. He's floating again. Floating Mr. Bear. Let's stick the house in there, shall we? Retry, there's a problem. What's the problem? Dee -dee -dee. Okay. So, let's get the house. It's a good job I've got a lot of blocks, isn't it? Oh, I gave my blocks a nice clean today. They feel like brand new blocks. You know when you first get blocks and they're nice shiny and, like, untainted? Um... So I just clean them with some alcohol to get all the sticky and the residue off. What a difference it makes, can I say? What a difference. Going for a nice red brick home with a sunny yellow roof. Because that's how this bear rolls. Oop. <laughs> I moved last minute, don't do that. Oh, cute. I feel like we need some little... Now, hold on a minute. Yes, I do have some flowers to go with this. Let's give him some flowers from under his feet. Go. Maybe some yellow flowers. So what you'd all do while you're listening to me, because I know for a fact that some of you like to multitask. Don't blame you. I do it sometimes too. <laughs> Believe it or not. I feel like he needs a little pathway up to his house. That look a little bit naff. Okay. Um. Oh, excuse me. For yawning. Um, um, um. Dum, dum, dum. Did you recognise that tune? <laughs> That was Bye Bye Delilah, but not the whole tune, because I did not sing the whole thing. I'm packing my Swapsworth backstage into cellophane, says um, Janice. There you go, see? I know what you crafters are like. 
Are you allowed to tell us what you've made for your swaps or are they a surprise, Janice? That's nice. So that's the Ringed with Nature leaf. I'm just bringing on some branches to bring up the... This is a nice leaf. That's a nice boulder. I like that boulder. <laughs> okay, getting somewhere. If I could love these little... Let's put some little toadstools back in. Uh, Wendy is embroidering Winnie the Pooh on your dress, ready for your nan's funeral. Oh, Wendy. What is there? There's obviously some significance to, to that. Oh, you made tags live on Saturday. Sorry, I missed you live. Oh, I'm getting back apes in here. Been sat a lot today, naughty me. Okay, I feel like I need some clouds. Um, oh, I was going to add some little butterflies. This is such a cute stamp set. Oh, it's a bit of a grey butterfly. <laughs> Um, okay, we've got to sort these stamps out. I can't be doing with halos all the time. It's bugging me. He's now got the sting on his tail. So the word welcome would be cute, like welcome to your new house. Welcome home. <coughs> Excuse me. From uh, <coughs> just seeing if there's, <coughs> excuse me, there must be a stamp set that says from our home to yours or something like that. Welcome, just having a look. Love you, miss you, that's cute. Sending smiles, happy. Mm. No. Uh, one more look. Do, 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 do. Oh, sorry for yawning. To a happy future ahead. That's what about that? That would work. That'd be cute. Oh, to a happy future ahead. Right, let's do this. Let's get myself a little bit of. Oh, that would fit nicely. See if a circle punch would fit this. No, ooh, one and three eighths. It's a little bit tight. Can afford to go a bit bigger, I think. One and three eighths. Let's try one and three quarters. Hmm. Would that shape look a bit odd? Nobody need to know it was supposed to be a circle. And I think we'll stamp it in early espresso. Um, so Wendy was saying Um, you've got Janice is making 84 tags. Wendy says she always read us Winnie the Pooh, so we have a lot, we have a love for it even now. She said, No black, so I'm wearing an orange dress and overshirt, which has Winnie the Pooh on too. Oh. She was 95 ish, as I can't remember exactly, and she's with God now. So it gives me peace. Bless you. Well, sorry to hear about that, Wendy. But thank God that she's now in a better place. Okay, we're going to go for to a happy future ahead. And 
We need to. It's about time we get out the blending brushes. Because Esther can't survive without her blending brushes. They've got to feature somewhere in my videos because I can't cope. <laughs> It just makes it stand out. Okay, right, I'm gonna zoom out and then oh sorry. There, that's better. Right. I tell you, I was so busy crafting I lost track of time. Wow, that's an that's a brilliant excuse, isn't it? What can I say? You're allowed. Come on in. <laughs> Not all excuses are accepted, but that one will do. <laughs> I'm just going to go over those rings a little bit. And then coming round the edge, we're coming round the edge with the blends. We're coming round the edge with the blends. We're coming round the edge. Good, done. Let's bring back these two because we might as well blend them out. Thinking a nice little green edge. Look at my stamp collection going on here. Oh dear. Let's move you guys out the way, out the way. Move back, please, move back. Okay, bring on old Olive here. We'll be blending with old Olive when she comes. <laughs> oh dear, what have I started? We'll be blending with old Olive when she comes. I better stop singing before I get done by YouTube. Looks like you have been having fun. Oh yeah. Playing with a set that's not mine and borrowing again. Which is great because you decide then whether you want it or not. And it's like, mmm, very tempting. Hi Cheryl. Ah, oh, I was catching up on videos I've missed lately and here I was missing your live. Well, now's a good time to say, if anybody is interested in joining the WhatsApp broadcast, it means I send out a message just before I go live to say, hey, guess what, I'm going live. Um, so a broadcast means I have your number. Um, nobody else gets to see your number except me. And, but... Um, the broadcast works where it sends a message to lots of people all in one go. So I hope that makes sense. Now, I am rubbing on different colours and I've got a strange colour in my ink pad, so goodness knows what colour this is going to come out. It's supposed to be blue, but um, it's a bit of a mash-up of various colours. Um, so we're stamping on very vanilla cardstock with the various stamp sets, but mainly happier than happy. And the wonderful viewer suggested it would go nicely with Ring of Nature, which is a great idea. So I might go ahead and cut out Mr Bear and do some, mount him up on some dies later. But let's do one more and then we'll think about popping these on some card. So... I quite like the idea of... Now, do we have any ovals? I don't know if we do. Oh, how do you contact me? You can um, send me an email, Sally Jo. I shall pop it in here in case some of my admin are busy. Stamping Star Creations at gmail.com. I don't know my little doofa. Here you go. I should just put that there while I go and see if there's any ovals. Ah, I know where there's an oval. Um, I've just remembered. Oh, a hexagon would look nice too. There's an oval on here, but it's tiny. I don't think the hexagon's big enough either. Um, let's just have a quick Oh, I just had another idea. <laughs> well, let me see if I can find the dies. Bear with, please. I used them 
for a class, so they might still be in my bag, although I think I took them out. No, nope, here they are. Okay. I wondered, now, this might not work, this might work. No, let's do this, because... This oval here, this not oval, I've got oval on the brain now. Could you see that? It's slightly reflected. Uh, watercolour shapes has an oval stamp. Watercolour, yes, I was a dye I was after. So, um, if I put another piece on top. Let's just pencil mark roughly where these are, because I think this is going to be the base. Okay, so these are from the picture this dies. So they did go with a set before, like a farmyard animal set, but they can be used standalone. Thank you, Vicky. You're amazing. Vicky's put the info on. Right, so I'm going to stamp the characters in here. Let's get my scrap paper out again. So Mr. Bear's got quite a big face, bless him. So, <laughs> you know, haven't we all? Um, <laughs> so he's going to go in the biggest circle. So, Mr. Burr, Burr, sorry, it's come from um, Paddington. Have you guys seen Paddington? Great film, absolutely great film. You should all watch it. And then, Mr. Fox feels like he should be lower on the ground. So he can come in here. He's like an inquisitive Mr. Fox, isn't he? It's like, hello, what's going on here then? Oh, I don't want to miss out on a party. And then why is old Al? He's going to go up in the trees. You've done it. You hope you've done it right. Well, you can't go too long if you just copy and paste the address. <laughs> why is Mr. Al looking to go up there? Then we can have some better clean this really, can I? Better clean it. I'm wondering if no, okay, stick to the plan, stick to the plan. Um the trees I feel should go with they just match Mr. Burr. Some trees coming in there. I know you don't see much of the trees, but you just got to kind of, you know, by the time the other bits go on it. And then a branch or two for Mr. L in the night sky. And then maybe a bit of ground for. Sorry, this is like me talking to myself. Where is the groundwork gone? There you are. Bit of ground for Mr. Fox or a mound. Ground mound, Mr. Fox. <laughs> That's where the trouble starts. I started typing it. And then a wee little butterfly. Don't ask what accent that was. It wasn't a natural accent. Let's see if I can make this butterfly blue again. Yeah, there we go. Don't press so hard. These smaller stamps, you just got to be gentle. Okay. And then we've got some Oh we could have an we can have an acorn on the ground. And a yellow toadstool. How many on the old time? Forty minutes. Not bad, not bad. So a little yellow toadstool and 
we'll have a little acorn. Mushrooms, shouts Anne. <laughs> if I wonder if this needs just like a little bit of. I wonder if I need to rink my pad. Oh no, I don't at all. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> I need to wash out my brush. Getting a bit filthy dirty. Filthy dirty. Okay. So, the question is, do we put another piece of... I'll tell you what would be nice. <laughs> I'm asking you, but I'm also answering myself as I ask you. Okay, so just ignore me. If I'm asking you something, because I'm not actually asking you. I was going to say what colour, but I've already made up my mind. I'm going to do crumb cake. If I can get it out of the packet. Oh, dear, I'm yawning again. Sorry. Now... Have a look. Do I want this to be? I'm gonna cut this down a little bit so that it doesn't. Okay. And this one's gonna be three and four minutes. Okey pokey, here goes. Now, trouble is, how am I going to know where to put the dies? Ha ha ha. So if I hover, I'm going to lift the very vanilla up. Is that right? Like that. Okay, I'm going to lift the very vanilla move it away and place that down and get some tape did it move I don't think it did Okay, let's try this. Let's, a wing and a prayer, he goes. Whatever the saying is. <laughs> is that a saying? Did I make it up? <laughs> oh dear. I often get my sayings a little bit muddled. So you've got these cute circles left. And these can be used for... The other cards. I forgot you get those. You get like free, it's like getting freebies. Two for the price of one. Okay, jingle jangle, jingle jangle. Jingle jangle jewellery. Right, please come off without too much trouble. Oop. <laughs> Tearing it a little bit if you come. Right, the moment of truth. Everybody hold your breath. What's gone on wrong here? Why is it so? Oh, that's a much smaller circle. Ew. So the only person that's affected really is the owl, if I move it down. Okay, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. That has definitely gone big, why is it so big then? There's quite a big gap between the circles, that'd be why. 
somewhere around here I've got a rubber um, sorry I can't find it let's use my special fancy eraser oh, oh it's leaving marks no don't do that why are you leaving marks for no don't leave marks My fancy razor is just making things worse for me. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't meant to happen. You're supposed to rub out my work. Oh well, we'll cover that up somehow. I think that this is a good um, eraser, but I feel like I had a better one somewhere. For... Never mind, we'll go with. Let's have some halos around all the pictures. Where's the purple tape? It's supposed to be low tack, just low tack masking tape. Okay, let's see how we're getting on with this. Can I disguise that in some way? Okay, you can see a bit of the pencil mark. Just keep adding a bit of blend, or we'll just like stencil it or something. It'll be fine. Let's do that. Let's just grab a to cover it all up. <laughs> Get a stencil involved. Well, it's made it better. A little bit. Right, because we can't be here all night, I'm just going to... No, and if it's raised up slightly as well, that will benefit. Just need to chop off the a bit of the bottom because it's going to stick out too much. So, okay, quick as chips. Here we go. What am I looking for? You. I'm looking for you. You're who I'm looking for. So, let's get this shell on the roll. I'm going to cut some thin strips of this. Why aren't you using the strips that Stampin' Up! have already cut out, I hear you ask? Because the depth of this is thinner. So these are about 2mm, where the strips are quite thick at 3mm. That's your answer to that one, folks. So a bit more of a fancier card, but sometimes they're worth it, aren't they? When you've got those special occasions and you need a fancy card and you're like, I know, I made one the other day on that live. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Let's 
So we're going to reinforce in between. Because we don't want the in betweens to flop. It's a bit thick. Okay. So let's take all these off. Thank you for bearing with me, folks. Much appreciated. Love you all for sticking with me. Your great support. Just knowing that you're there. Okay. Here goes. So it's Mr. Owl that's the main issue here. Stuck myself to the paper. So you've got this nice depth, and hopefully, if you don't look closely, you can't see the pencil marks. <laughs> Just got to trim this edge here. That's cute. Now, don't believe I'm saying this, but I wonder what it looked like on Cajun Craze. That's quite cute. Let's just trim it down a little bit, but that's quite nice. I like that. Or let's just do, it might be a little bit too before I trim it. Just wonder about one of these. Yeah, I think it still needs a little bit of a trim. Let me see what, like, um, oh, what do you reckon? No, not convinced about espresso. A bit too dark, methinks, a bit too dark. What about Paul Parte? Oh, not sure, not sure. Maybe um, Mint Mac, because the blue isn't very bluey. Is that pool party? Yeah. There you go. It's obviously got a bit of greeny in it. What do you think? That's quite nice and soft, isn't it? So I think that one can have Mint Mac on. And... That one for Cajun. Let's grab out a greeny colour. That's the one, says Sally Jo. That's the one. I think green for you. And as for you, to lift crush curry. Nice bright yellow. Oh, where's my thing? To a happy future ahead. Good, right. Let's get sticking and then we'll have four cards made. And then that should wrap me up to, to my hour, which is usually about the time. So like I said, I might go ahead and die cut some bears to go on top of this for the finished article. Add a little bit of oomph to the cards. Very cute set, I would recommend it. If you, oh, is this the right way around? Fewy. <laughs> um, if you've got babies or children, this is a nice sort of generic um, set as well. This is rather cute. I like this now. Not that I didn't like it before, but you know what I mean. 
the hassle was worth it, shall I say. <laughs> right, let me just put my sweaty face in here a minute so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, and you, my boy, need to go up on dimensionals. My, as to what big scissors you have. All the better for cutting with, my dear. Okay, to a happy future ahead. There we go. Oh, Cheryl's started the voting already. <laughs> okay. Bear with. I need a nice blank surface, I feel. Right, let's move back, guys, move back. Crowd control. Right. Let's get you a nice clean slate ready. Whew. It's fine to see if I've got a clean piece somewhere. <laughs> Running that clean sheets around here. Mm. Let's just turn it right to the back. Ah, it's refreshing, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so we started off with number one. Exhibit number one, we have the bear waving goodbye to Mr. Al, and he's got the butterfly joining him. That's number Oh no. Number two, we tried sort of doing like a collage-y effect with all the animals and all the stamps. Number three, we teamed it with uh, Ringed with Nature to have the house and he's waving goodbye to the house with three little bears in. <laughs> and then last but not least, we introduced some die cutting to put our little characters in. So you can place your votes. One, two, three and four. One, two, three and four. Thank you for watching everybody. If you are interested in actually buying these products, you can. And the great thing is the colours coordinate. So knowing that my Crush Curry um, ink matches my Crush Curry cards. Um, and yeah, it just works so well. It's brilliant. So go ahead and you can place your votes now. Judy is going for number three, the new house card. And... Wendy is going for three and four. Number four for Sally Jo. All lovely though, she says. Thank you. So just some different ideas, using the same colours. So I'll we'll just flush those up before your eyes. Number three for show. A lot of you like number three. And number four for Patty. So we use Crush Curry, Early Espresso, Occasion Craze, Old Olive, Crumb Cake and Pool Party. So four and three are getting the... Uh, you like it mixed with the other stamps. That's a great idea, guys, for that one. Thank you. And I didn't even get to use the intact Mr. Bear. He's still over here. So I can put him with the set and use him another time. Number three for Miss Cindy Fox Taylor. They're all fab, but three has the edge for Janice. Wow, there you go. I think three is getting most of the votes. Lovely jobs. Thank you everybody for joining me tonight for my play with Happier Than Happy. That's the name of the stamp set. Happier Than Happy. Thank you, Miss Vicky. So if you're in the front, in, if you're in the France, if you're in France, if you're in the UK, let me start with the UK. I always say England, but it's UK. If you're in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands. Have I, what have I missed? Anyway, if you're in those countries, and soon to come to Belgium and Ireland, then you can contact me for more information at stampingstarcreations at gmail.com. I was reading what Vicky had put rather than do it off my head. Um, I will happily send you a catalogue for free if you're in those countries. 
and you can join my lovely team, my little family of Stampin' Up peeps, um, if you wish. If you just want to support me by coming back again and watching, you can hit that subscribe button. Be very much appreciated. A free thumbs up goes a long way. It just helps the old ag algorithms, Aggies, <laughs> on YouTube. And if you comment afterwards as well, all helps me immensely. And can I just say thank you? I've been getting lots of cards through the post internationally. It's one's birthday at the end of the month, and I'm already gobsmacked with the amount of international posts that's coming through my mm -hmm. letterbox. So thank you so much. Sorry, that means my time's are out and my do not disturb has gone off. So on that happy note, take care and God bless you, and hopefully I'll catch you next week. Take care, God bless. Bye.